I'm going into McDonald's because I want to know if the filet fish sandwich can beat my childhood favorite, Chicken McNuggets. Let's go test them out. strawberry shapes and you can see this one has better whipped cream on top of it than the other one this one isn't quite mixed all the way but this one looks lovely and this goes with my oh filet of fish meal so the filet of fish meal came to 15 51 and the 10-piece chicken McNuggets came to 15.72, so less than 20 cents different for later. But look at all these sauces. These are all the choices that you can have with your McNuggets from McDonald's. Lots of sauce choices. Sweet and sour sauce, ranch, spicy buffalo, tangy barbecue. That sounds good. And a a Wick Donald's sauce. Wick Donald's. What is Wick Donald's? We're about to find out. I'm gonna try the McDonald's first because this is a bonus sauce. Some new kind of sauce that they made. So let's see what it tastes like. Okay. Wow. <coughs> okay, that's spicy. Now let's try honey mustard. I have a weakness. For chicken McNuggets. This is crazy. Oh my god. Those are really good. Okay. The honey mustard sauce gets an A. Sweet and sour sauce is like so good, I can't stop eating it. I don't know what's better. The fries, the shake. It's all really good. These are the best fries. McDonald's always has the best fries. If you grew up in San Diego, you would have eaten McDonald's fries more times than you used to admit. Ray Kroc donated a lot of money to Ronald McDonald's charity for children who can't afford medical care. And of course, he owned the Padres. So we all know him around here. I'm pretty sure that was at the dedication that you would see when they opened that pool. They have a large pool for their athletes to train at the University of Southern California where I went to school. So that made me proud of that Ray did that for the children. Back to my chicken McNuggets and my sweet and sour sauce. Fast food is a real to play. I know it's so unhealthy. Because I like it. Chicken McNuggets are a holdover from my childhood, just like these fries. There's no way I'm going to finish all this food. I'm definitely not all these fries, but they are really good, especially when they're hot. This is the fillet fish. I don't know if that, no, there's a lot of sauce on this one. I don't know. I don't know if this can be as good as Chicken McNuggets. We'll see. Mm. It's really good, really hot. It's excellent. But I don't think it beats the chicken like that, it's telling you the truth. And now we're gonna try. Okay, I have like five different sauces here. No. One, two, three, four, five. I have six sauces, okay? One of every kind. And now I'm trying tangy barbecue. Let's see. Yeah. That's really good. That's super good. 
It tastes like barbecue ribs except it's barbecue chicken. But I think my favorite so far <clears throat> has got to be the sweet and sour. I can't stop eating the sweet and sour sauce. I've always loved sweet and sour. It must be I have a thing for Asian food. Okay. This is ranch. Oh. Hot mustard. Seven different types of sauces. Okay, they're serious about their chicken mustard. It's here. Yeah, the ranch is pretty interesting. And then we have spicy buffalo. I just keep going back to the sweet and sour. It's really good. The filet of fish is actually my second choice. What I really wanted was a McPlant burger because those are vegan and they're sustainable and I think they help save the planet when you go vegan. So I really didn't want to eat a fish sandwich, but I looked on the McDonald's website and there was no McPlants. So McDonald's, if you're listening, can you please bring McPlants to San Diego County? Because we really need vegan burgers here. We really need to eat those. So, you know, for now, I'll eat chicken McNuggets because they're a holdover from my childhood. But nothing is like trying a McPlant for the first time in your life. You know, it's just about a time. Tempe's Chicken McNugget probably wins for all of 19 cents more. Just because there's so many sauces to choose from. So many different flavors. But this filet of fish is darn good. You know what I really want is the McPlant burger, but you can't get it in San Diego yet. You can get it in Texas because it's a vegan burger, and that's what I really, really want to try. It's like an Impossible Burger, but it's vegan, but they don't have it at all, all the McDonald's restaurants, so what you have to do is you have to go on their website, you know, look at your state, and see if they sell McPlant near you, and McDonald's will let you know if there's a place where they sell the McPlant burger near where you live. I've encouraged my cameraman to help me eat some of these fries. See, I want to know what he thinks of them. Does he in fact think that the McDonald's fries are the best fast food fries? Say that three times fast. Does he in fact think that the McDonald's fries are the best fast food fries? I think I can say it three times fast. Does he think that the McDonald's fries are in fact the best fast food fries? Fast food fries, see, get it? It's not that easy to say. To demolish the last of this filet of fish, it's excellent. I think the filet of fish is healthier for you than eating red meat. And that's why I am eagerly awaiting the mixed plant. See how fast I eat that. Like three minutes flat. It could be a marathon McDonald's. Maybe a sprinter McDonald's in there? I'm not really sure. Something. You know, when I was in LA, I had a house and I lived next door to this empty lot. And one day they built a McDonald's on it. You know, I was over there every morning having breakfast at McDonald's. Every morning, I would get something like hash browns or just something to eat, orange juice. And I've eaten my share of fries in my life. Everybody knows McDonald's fries are best. Everybody. We could take a poll of 10 people and they, if you ask them what their favorite fast food fries are, they would say McDonald's. And the shakes are pretty good too. I have this friend Bob and I've known him from high school and one day 
I was really tired because I was editing for a long time my videos. And I told him, we were on Facebook and I said, oh, I need some fries and some chicken McNuggets. And he sent me a picture of some fries and some chicken McNuggets. It was so funny. This is like in the nugget box my vote is for the chicken McNuggets that I've loved since I was a kid. I refuse to give these up. I know I'm a grown up now, but I know these aren't good for you. I know there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's names I cannot pronounce. That is never a good sign. Like preservatives and stuff, but you know what? It tastes really good. So it's sort of like, as I said, my guilty pleasure. I have a thing with chicken McNuggets. They just start to disappear. Like, there were 10 of them in this little box right here. The little chicken McNuggets box. There were 10. 10. You know how many there are now? Three. Three. Like, I just demolished two McDonald's meals practically, okay. except I haven't eaten all the fries. And the winner is the Chicken McNuggets by a hair over the filet of fish The Chicken McNuggets are a holdover from my childhood. I refuse to give them up. I absolutely love them. They've gotten me through so many days when I was too tired to cook. And the strawberry shakes are to die for. And so are the fries. And they're just fun. And it's part of being American. It's a tradition here in San Diego. The home of Ray Kroc, where he lived his happy life with the Padres. Go Padres. Love you. Kisses. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I'll have more videos for you soon. Promise. Bye. -bye.